when we have done multicollinearity, we have asked the question, in case if we ignore multicollinearity, what are the problems which you could face? When we did serial correlation, oh, I think we have to do serial correlation, then we'll be again asking the same question, what happens in case if we ignore serial correlation? Now, here in this case, since we are doing heteroscedasticity, we have to ask ourselves, in case if we ignore the problem of heteroscedasticity, what will happen to our parameters? Will they be biased? Will they be consistent? Will they be efficient? Are the t-tests going to be valid or not? Is the hypothesis testing valid or not? Okay, so let us just uh, look at that. I'm not going to prove all this, but uh, it's there. Now, estimators, as far as your OLS estimators are concerned, estimators they will be unbiased and consistent okay also forecasts based on them will be unbiased and consistent. As far as efficiency is concerned, OLS estimates estimators, they are not efficient. Okay, under the presence of heteroscedasticity, you cannot say that these estimators, they have the minimum variance. And since you cannot say that, it means that they're not blue. Hmm? Well, hence, you could say that the forecasts based on them will also forecast based on them will also not be efficient and in case if you look at the Variances and covariances, which you get from these estimates, estimated variance and covariances, they will be biased and inconsistent. Where do you think you're going to use variance and in variance and covariances? You'll be using them in hypothesis testing. T test. What is a T test? T test is T, uh, T test is beta hat minus hypothesized value of beta hat upon the standard deviation of beta hat. Standard deviation of beta hat is actually the root of the variance of beta hat. And in case the variance itself is biased and and inconsistent, then the then this happens that because of this your T tests F test they become invalid. So these are the problems which you face uh, in case if you ignore heteroscedasticity. Even if when you have found out that heteroscedasticity is present in the data, but you are not doing anything about it and you are ignoring it, then this is the problem which you face. Okay. Well, I, I think I need to do one more recording on clearly explaining and spelling out what do you mean by all of them. Okay.